Welcome back to Yuga Gotoku Zero, the replay. Last time, remember, we cleared Chapter 11, A Murky Riverbed. And we're going to drop the save, like so. And move on to Chapter 12, Den of Desires. ちょっとの間、へえ。わざわざ神と そんなに急いでどこ行くつもりだったんだ。もちろん。あんたに報告しに来とくよ。だよな。よかった。こんな場所でお前殺した。かわいそうじゃん。掃除のおばちゃんがよ。<笑><笑> <もちろん。笑> で、西谷に会ったってことは聞き出せたんだよな。牧村誠の居場所。ああ。せやけど、誠を奪っていた白いスーツの男は西谷とは関係あらへんかった。誠を奪ったのは日教連のセラッチュやつや。日教連大門は
we're in a situation in which we're going to be leaving the hub for a while. So, no business, <clears throat> no searching for um, ladies for the club, no buying for, say, um, for anything. So really we got like seven CP. We're gonna be we're gonna be in for the long haul, really. So at least we are close to having like all the bronze hostesses dealt with. We got two out of fifty partner shops and whatnot. I still need to go to um the Tiger and Dragon, so let's see. My go to is definitely gonna be Weapon Master. Let's see, let's add some more power behind the bat. Whatever works, it works. I'll be back. Let's see. Before we get out to there,
Oh, that's beautiful. That power. Mm. Oh, I'll be back. See, there's also the pleasure boat. Uh, let's see. Ah, the pawn giant. Yeah, let's do that too. Yeah, at least see what what's going on. More dispatch destinations. <laughs> so a new iron scrap. So we can make knives like um, a butterfly knife, a super spicy knife. Cradle bat. A wooden katana. Iron hammer for long swords. Long lumber. A shotgun, brass knuckles, modified lighter, La launchers, tonfas. We now have all the parts. Nunchucks, Kelly sticks. But that's the only reason. Other than that, uh, nunchucks. Training we can out of this. Huh? Of course not. And so alive, it doesn't recognize those for you. you. Look like a badass swinging those around. That's why I use this bat like that. So this. Indeed. I am also a fan of the nunchuck. I work on crafting new variations every day. Pretty bother to try and improve the classics. <laughs> I have been reading a historical novel, and I am tempting to combine a weapon that appears in it with the nunchuck. Perhaps you will encounter in time, in due time. <sighs> oh, come on, you're gonna leave me hanging. Well, I guess I could always beat the details out of you. I look forward to getting another look at your bat techniques. Be sure you avoid using the same thing.
got you beat, sir. Told you. <laughs> Take that. You have beaten me, Majimata. Let's go back to the store. Check who got nothing on me. I oh, fought much myself. I unleashed my full fury, but you still defeated me handily. Any plain advice from the nunchuck master? If you do properly, the nunchuck can slip past the enemy defenses. The trick is to hook it around them. It also enhances your fighting spirit as you rain down blows on opponents and deliver powerful finishing moves. Oh, sweet. Got it. Visiting the dragon and tiger. Poles. Ah. I'm learning the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Damn shame I'm not I'm not learning the size. The pole techniques I am the, the same thing we did before. So cover shit, man. Go back to the store. <clears throat> I knew you could do it, Majima. I tried to slip my attacks past your defenses, but the sheer force of your strikes overwhelmed me. You're spinning that thing so fast, I thought you'd take it off. Not too shabby on defense, either. The pole allows you to protect your lower body as well. Try using it up, up against multiple foes or opponents that target your legs. Ah. Got it. Dragon and Tiger. Katana, please. Yes. <laughs> uh. We are going to be a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Or in this case, a Teenage Mutant Yakuza Turtle. choice among warriors in Japan. Uh. Yeah, history 101. If a shop is not found anywhere, that's due to the complex forging techniques involved. They are the ultimate bladed weapon. I try forging them myself, but it's not easy. You can forge katana too? <coughs> I have not mastered the technique to the point where I could sell my creations. Right now, Frank crafts them for me, but I hope to someday reach that level. Does that mean if I slip this time, I'm going to be losing appendages? 
Let's get real. Yeah. No. That would be unwise. I will use a, a wooden katana. <sighs> oh, I was kind of looking forward to it. Oh, shit, it's for the However, you should know that I shall be using an unusual form. What? You gonna go all drunk and master on me? What's the deal? <laughs> you will have to wait and see. <laughs> they who master suspense. Guess Sing will be blue. <laughs> I look forward to getting another look at your back techniques. We should have learned. Okay, here we go. <laughs> That's some Wing Chun right here. Actually, put in some time getting master on one set of arts. Yeah, that's a guy breaker, all right. <laughs> Sweet, I won. Splendid fight, Majima. You bested me. Back to the store. Alright, the sword stuff ain't so hard. I mean, quite impressive, Majima. My sword style is a difficult one to read, but you anticipate my every move. Uh. Swords look real sweet, too. Maybe I'll give him a shot. By all means. But as the katana tends to be an expensive weapon, you should save it for when the time seems right. It cost a million yen easy. I'll pick one up and give it a whirl when I got cash to blow. Uh -huh. Lastly, Kali Sticks. Kali sticks consist of two short sticks. They're usually made of, from a wood called rattan. Have you heard the word Kali before, Majimasa? Oh. Nope. Enlighten me. Hi. Kali is actually the name of a martial art in the Philippines. It is their national sport. The word Kali comes from the local language. 
the weapon spread throughout the United States and the word sticks was added. I leave out the details, but their practicality has made them popular around the world. Why they're kind of fell pain, huh? So I thought. But you really think they're world famous? <coughs> yes. It is easier for simple weapons such as these to take root. <coughs> well, maybe they just take it off here in Japan then. One thing I've seen uses two sticks are taiko drums. <laughs> Do not underestimate the potential to call upon. Ah. Sure. Let's get this show on the road then. Let's do it. I wish the size were more like that. from my own attacks, but I ended up being overpowered. You were really getting up in my face? Is that the right way to use those things? I believe they are best used to press the attack rather than defend. If you land enough blows, you can even stun opponents, making them ideal against swift foes. Uh-huh. Uh Got it. I've learned it all. I believe I now have shown you all the techniques I know. Mm. Yeah? So we're done here? Hi. Yes. It has been most rewarding seeing your bad technique in action. <laughs> it's nothing special. You reminded me that weapons still have much potential to unlock, and for that, you have my thanks. I hope you continue to visit the dragon and tiger from time to time. Uh. You know it. I'll be seeing you. <laughs> I look forward to it. I can even make you a meal next time if you like. Huh, a meal. Yeah. Well, this is a restaurant after all. Perhaps you had forgotten. So, yo? Yes, my husband cares about weapon only. He should think about cooking sometime. <coughs> <laughs> Don't bless his job too hard, Long Hua. Gotta say, though, I'm glad this place turned out to be more respectable than I thought. Mm hmm? What you mean? You're dealing weapons, right? Most of the time, that means the back room is hot with criminal activity shit. But here, the only thing getting hot is the Kung Pao chicken. <clears throat> this is more of a curio shop, you could say. We don't sell arms to anyone we can cause trouble. My only interest is studying the ventures of fighting weapons. Ah. I can appreciate that. But if you ever get in trouble, you know who to call. That is gracious of you. <laughs> You'll be good boy now, Majima-san. That way, you learn all the weapon. You learn the weapons faster by doing that. And for that, I prefer 
you know, if one thing I'm going to learn out of all this in this replay is at least one good set of arts. That's going to be my go-to. That really did. Sure. That made me want to go get some chi some Chinese, some sushi or something. I can really use the food. Next would be Ain't you that much? Ain't you that guy, my man, who runs the grand? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Thought so. How's it going? Make a man move. I do all right for myself. How about you? Uh, you really gonna answer? You're the only one I brought it up, smart guy. To tell you the truth, I got serious money problems. Huh? Yeah? Well, the bank of Majima's closed. Sorry. <laughs> and this is Mr. Moneybags on the Sultan Bori side. No, no, no. The trouble is, I got more cash than I can use. Tell you what. You earn all that from tips. Kind of guitar master. All this money's on mine. I hand it out to people who listen to me play. You for real right now? Yeah. Well, what else can I do? What, what, what else am I gonna do? Not how much I spend. I can't get rid of it. I took it to the bank, but they said they ain't got enough room in the boat. Figure people take some off my hands while playing a song or two. Well, why not just skip the tune and just give it out? <laughs> it got me there. I see why they call you the Lord of the Night. <sighs> What's that got to do with me? And you really that rich? Feels more like you yanking my chain. Oh. Is my wealth that obvious? I try not to flaunt it too much, but when you're a king, you got the aura bleak. <laughs> Ain't no way to hide my high ball of Yeah. Uh, I hate to break it to you, but you look more like a cross between a lone singer and a used car, so. Eh? Yeah. Uh, seriously. The sleaze is just oozing right off. What? Well, you're nothing like the type who shows up at my club and throws money around, that's for sure. Huh. Oh, yeah, I uh, thought you might say that. What, so you're a minute? It's been stressing me out. I really am rolling dough, but for whatever reason, people think I look like the human embodiment of the gut. Of the gut. Are you trying to tell Sasha? Cause ain't working. Mm. What I'm trying to do is find a way to show my wealth. Cause when I heard the rumors about you, Majima-san, Sotenbori's Lord of the Night, 
First time I saw you on the street, guys and girls was falling over themselves and left and right, giving you good graces. <laughs> yeah, I don't do exactly what Michael does. Yeah, I don't exactly what all of do. But you don't sing Richard all much. Yeah, did it. Eh. Sure. You look flashy on the outside, but it feels like an act to me. You can see the veneer peeling off. Oh, hope I'm not dead. You or anything? <laughs> huh. She got some savvy after. Hmm? What? Yeah. Never mind. Tell me. Why'd you go stopping on the street? You think you, I'm fake. Yeah, about that. Uh, I was thinking maybe you and I could be friends. What? I want you to show me how to act rich. And what makes you think I ain't do that? What's in it for me? Mm, for you? Yeah. Yeah. You may have money coming out of years, but I gotta work to get paid and time is money. I don't know what to say to that. Let me ask you. What's the difference if you look rich or not? It's a huge difference. When you look rich, you can hit on girls without them screaming and run away. They might actually listen for a change. Who knows? Maybe they will start trying to talk me and demand them. I could build up a whole harem. I don't know why my my buddies think I'm building a harem for some strange reason. So you're just another horn dog chasing the tail after all. Pretty damn pathetic. How the hell did you get so rich in the first place? I don't understand this world sometimes. <laughs> if it comes to money, I got all the luck. Just seems to fall into my lap. Just like how girls fall into the laps of popular guys, I guess. Okay, now you're just being a creep. How about this, then? If you help me earn some grain, I'll be your pal. Hmm? What? Hey, yeah, it works. Friendship won't be something you give away for free. Oh, now you're just gonna take the moral high ground? If you're not rich, you might as well buy a few friends. Huh. So friendship can be bought. Sometimes. It's alright. Uh, I'll buy you, Majima-san. How much? Well, take for you to hang out with me. The fuck was that? <laughs> Your sleeves is making my skin crawl. If you got that, if you got pockets that deep, just come to my club as a customer. Your club? Uh, if they ain't gonna fly, forget it. No cash, I won't. Yeah. Oh no, it ain't that I don't want to go. It just seemed that I'd have a hard time spending much cash at a cabaret. You really think so? The gram ain't some pop-up dive bar, pal. Those girls are out of your pants. Oh, don't worry. I got the money. I say, I like that thing with a money shot before. Might give it a try one of these days. So, therefore, you get cash to fit. I know. How about you invest in our fund? Can you be making money hand over fist? Uh, investment fund. Me and other wealthy people around the share info, take contributions from investors. Got the smartest to make money work for us, so you can be sure it's gonna pay dividends. Well, ain't you Mr. Freaking Fancy Pants? Change the subject, your own mirror. Yeah, did it again, did I? My baby. Anything money related, and I run my mouth on those fat cats are like that. Still. I ain't gonna make any profit with this chain, right? I'd have to. But... Yeah, of course. Anyway, I talked enough for one day. Let's go over this some other time. Yeah, sure. You can usually find me around here. Come see me again if you're interested. So, therefore, we can now trade. Hey, imagine what's up right here, brother. It's about the same thing as on the um, Kamarocho side. I'm not gonna read all this. So that's pretty much how it's Thank you. So the money I put into it goes to this real estate guy in Kamarocho. It goes to um, Kiryu. Right. That's certain someone in Kamarocho gets some cash and comes to you here in Soldier Lord. 
First we take our first cut. I can do that first so I ain't the full payment. If the investment pans out, though, you sure to make killing. So there's your 10. Well, hold up, that's a lot of dump. Well, you, first you gotta get your business up and running, use that money as a kickstart, and once you're flush, invest it back with us. Just go wasting it, it won't last long and that'll be the end. You should have put it towards things that will make you make you more money, then you can play around with it once you got extra. That's the key to getting rich. Huh. Alright, can't say no that. Okay, so getting back to the Uh invest. Might as well put it back in there. It ain't that much. Plus, I mean, you make some money back. Might as well make that money back, right? You got shame, I say. Yes. <laughs> that is all yes. いらっしゃいませ。Easy money.
ありがとうございました。Oh, Just a lot of stuff in here I forget, so. Just in case. That'll work. Plus on that now it saves you a lot of time. So we can actually put some money into a whole lot of goodies. Oh, we can we can unlock a whole lot of goodies now. So this way we can use nunchucks, katanas, tonfa, poles, of course we can use bats, kali sticks, or in this case size Add some money to health because that's important.
And of course, put some in the bug. More help as well, I appreciate it. Oh, that's definitely something we'll need. I think that's the last I'm going to use. You there! What? Listen, can I get you to come over here? What's with this weirdo? <laughs> Thanks for coming over. Oh, I'm saved. So what's your problem? What do you want? Yep, it. What the hell? You... Where the hell are your pants? That's why I called you over. Do me a favor. Can I borrow your pants? Uh, your pants. The pair you got on now. As you can see, I have my Voltan pants taken. Come on, pal. I'm in trouble here. Enough of that. I give you my pants. I'm the only one standing around my scabies. You take me for a fool? Aw, oh, no, don't be that way. Oh, God, why? No self-respecting young fellow with a whole future ahead of him can go out in this town with his underwear exposed. Right? Did you hear me the first time? I gave you my pants, then I'm the one swaying the breeze there. <sighs> Shit, you know, it's time to fall for camera. Huh? Hey, hold up! Leave me your pants! <laughs> you want them so bad, you can try and rip them off me. Fine, screw it. I'll put your underwear on display for the whole world to see when I jack those pants. Let me sit your dumb ass down, boy. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, really. I was way out of line. You're damn right you were. For fuck's sake. What's with you, man? Explain. From the top. I I'm Toru. I go to 
Sultan Norfai just before you came by. I got mugged by the Bolton Hunter. <laughs> Bolton Hunter? What the hell's that? Uh, well, to put it simply, Bolton pants are like school uniform pants. Well, they got high waist and super puffy around the thighs that the cool kids wear. No, I know what a Bolton is. So, the Bolton Hunter tech guys wearing Bolton and acting bigger than their britches beats them up and takes their Bolton as a trophy. So, just as uh, this guy kicked your ass and left you with your tidy ways on spike. <laughs> Pretty much. There's nothing I can do. I could have done about it, though. Bolton Hunter is this really weird guy. Weird. Like how? There's something messed up about him. Big guy who likes to jump people from behind and pummel him. And on his back. His back. Oh, great. What's the tat? Yep. Nah, he's got this tiny student backpack. Yep. Student backpack. Like, from elementary school? See what I mean? He's just messed up in the head. You try getting jumped by someone that loopy, it's just flat out scary, man. Uh, it's been going at it every day, too. Waiting, things going. There's going to be more victims going pantsless around here. Oh, no. I'm one star richer in a shit ton of time before. It's all got nothing to do with me. Huh? Whoa, whoa, hold on now. Please. You can't just leave me here like this. Can you get my pants back for me? So he shows up near Magataku a lot. Bastard's tough, but I bet you can take him. I'm both times as good as back you on the hunt for the hunter, please. <sighs> Can't think of any good reason why I want to help your sorry ass. Forget you ever saw me. Oh, but. Okay, this backpack to me, I gotta admit, it's kind of intriguing. That's, that's hunting near Magataku, huh? Are you up there? Take a look. Model taco. Mago tacos are right here. Oh. That ain't far. Excuse me. Like I said, I'm just putting meat on this episode. Not in that sense. Here you go. That's all me, Husky. Bow tie you got there. Oh. Huh? I'll be taking those bow tie. You talking to me? Maybe you need glass because these pants aren't. These pants ain't bow tie. This here's what you call tuxedo. Stop talking like I can. Just drop your pants. Choice. I'm gonna have fun ripping those pants off you. I'm sorry.
taking your wallet. Still want to take all the pants? I'll be taking your money. What the hell? I lost this one I jumped. Got a hand to you. You ain't half bad. What's up with the get up, huh? Oh my gosh, it's Ryuji Cone and it's Tim! Huh? Oh, you're right! Huh? We're sorry, please leave him alone. Please, please let him go. Ryuji Kun was doing this for us. Oh, for crying out loud, what now? sleep after all that. But you're telling me a brute this size is still in elementary school. Why does this remind me of this one guy in high school held back for three years? I'm trying to think he's Mr. Big Shit. Pissed me off in um, Spanish class. On my graduation year, and he's and he was ninth grade. Hi. Yep, Yuji Kun's classmate of ours. He's always been like this, right? Mm. Yeah. School backpack never ever looked right on him. So we got a sixth grade Hulk ripping the bolt on off a high school jerk's twice his age. Those guys must be double sorry when they got explained. But you say he was hunting down Botan for you guys. Can't explain what that's about. Maybe you can probably get revenge for us on delinquent kids of Stilton North High. They're really scummy. They beat up kids our age, take our money, and threaten us so we don't tell grown-ups we hate them. So you're saying Yuji Kun there took it upon himself to take your fight to them. Fight? Yeah, but we don't deserve what Yuji Kun did for us. Why is that? Because we shunned Yuji Kun for a long time, but even then, he went and did this for us. Okay, back it up. What made you guys shun him? I mean, the kid's downright intimidating. I'll give you that one. It's Ryuji Kun's dad. He's Yakuza. Yakuza. Alright. When we were little, we all played together. But when our parents found out about Ryuji Kun's dad, they said we couldn't play with him anymore. Now Ryuji Kun's all by himself at school. Even the teachers are all careful and polite around him. I guess scared. So he's the son of a Yakuza. That's gotta be plenty of those around here. Why is it such a big deal? Because Yuji Kun's dad isn't a regular Yakuza. He's like some big shot in the Omi Alliance. That's why everyone's scared of him. Oh, I'm starting to see the big picture now. A girl we did to ignore Yuji Kun. He went out looking to even a score for her. We didn't deserve anything he's done for us. We suck. Hey, what are you blabbing this guy for? Yuji oh. Kun! Yuji Kun, you're awake? <laughs> I ain't doing this for you. What? Huh? I just can't stand those Sultan North punk asses walking around like they own the place. No, 
Um, you know what I am you to kill I saw you getting all pissed off when you heard those jerks were picking on some of the girls in our class. Shut up! I said they ain't white! Jacoon, I'm sorry. We're sorry. We won't ignore you anymore. Please, can you forgive us for the way we treated you? I told you it ain't got nothing to do with it. I seriously can't stand those sort so to North Pussies. They made a high school. There's none of not one of them that can actually fight, bunch of losers. Except you when I got you beat me up like I'm just some punk kid. That's because you are some punk kid! What? What do you mean? Other than being built like a bulldozer? You are just a punk kid, you know. Yeah, but dude, you're as tough as my old man. You sure you're still in high school? Oh, fuck the You're still going on about that? I told you, this ain't no bolt on. I don't give two shits about it. I decide I'm going to be a bigger man than my dad. Ain't no way I'm going to accept losing to some stranger off the street. Sound like a personal problem. I ain't forgetting your face, bro. Next time I see you, I'm taking your bow on. Screw any other bow on. I won't rest until I rip those pants off your ass. <laughs> the end result, people. The end result. Take off your clothes. <laughs> huh? Hey, don't show crazy shit, Mel Turnheads. Whatever. I ain't got time for kitty games. I'm out. You kids got this? Hey. Yes. I'll make sure you can be okay. Oh wait, this pair of photon pants you can have? What do we do with them? Who cares, chuck them. The guy wearing them was an ass. Hey, yeah, yeah. mister, can you return these pants to the guy who owned them? We do, he might beat us up. <sighs> fine, fine. I'll do that if I happen to come across them. <laughs> You will? Thank you. Some shit this time of the day. I don't know. If I gotta help all those boys, I don't give these pants back to that pantless punk. This has got to be oddly weird as all good. by breaking. <laughs> Push it in. Okay.
There's your goddamn pants. Oh, you're that guy! Alright. Oh, I suppose I'm taken by you, Jim. Well, I'm here. I suppose all known to his pants now would be just cool. <laughs> oh, yes, this is it. My bow top pants. Thanks so much. What's the guy near Mago Taco, like I said? Oh. Yeah? I'm trying to jump me for my pants, too. And I'm being asked to get those pants back. Huh? Huh? You ain't even wearing bow tie, but you jumped you anyway? Forget it. I started working for you anyway. See ya. Well, thanks for your help. I gotta go. We gotta round up some buddies and find that punk. We all got accounts to settle. What? what? Come on now, I can't take this line down. My pride's been wounded. If I round up my buddies in town, even that guy won't stand the chance. I gotta be delayed on that amped up punk. Gotta run. Good. Hey! Never mind. Kid's in trouble now. All the punks in town sending on him. You know, he's gotta be in it deep. Ain't gonna be pretty, that's for sure. Ah, hell. We go see what's going on around my guitar. Do I fucking have to? Okay, she wants a designer coat or a scarf. Really? A guy named Sega? Bolton hire kid should be around here. Might already be too late to help him though. What the? What the? What's going on here? You did that by yourself? It's <laughs> a bunch of moves. Don't matter how big a swarm they make, they still work with. Man, what a waste of time. I gotta get home. Got math drills for homework. Hey, what's your name? What's your name? Yuji Golda. <gasps> Yakuza 2. He's a monster. A real monster. <laughs> That's a dragon in the making. Where you're going to pass with my cross game. Golda Yuji. Mm -hmm. Okay, we taken care of that, so what I'm going to do is head back there.
Good. All right, let's do this. So the job's lucky in you, cousin. Then you will kick us to us that. I'm gonna come with a kaiju in your commission. I'm set. I do it. I do one next to it. Huh. Yarki Janik. Honda was a real sports as an idea. Like I said, had to add some meat to this one. させてもらいますよ。悪いな、ばさ。俺たちはお目当てのこがいるんだ。せっしゃな。どこ行きゃんと。あそこだ。弁天よ。あそこにまことが。西谷の話が正しければ、そういうことになるな。まっとれよ
Best you got. Seriously, guys, you're all flesh and hardly any substance. Seriously, guys, 
No. And I don't mean no key man. So I'm going to stand here for a while and heal. Because I got that hawker. So I'm in no real hurry to rush. Because all I'm doing is standing still and healing myself. Like I said, I'm not playing it the same way as I did with the PS4 version. Whoop! I'm trying to be a ninja trick house, that's what I was trying to be. That's right. This doubles it. Yeah. 
the stairs to our boss fight. Serra,日強連を相手にここまでたどり着くとは、さすが島の軍艦ならしたことだ。誠は牧村誠はどこへ。彼女は先ほどある人間に託され、ここを出た。何やって。ある人間で誰やの。そう焦るな。それは花からお前に伝えるつもりだ。はあ。信じろ。俺はお前の敵じゃない。せやったら組員を襲わすかのは。なんでや
ら慎重派でね結論を出すにはやはり自分の手で確かめないと気が済まないんだ<笑>真島もしも命を懸けて牧村誠を守る覚悟があるなら俺を倒してみろそしたら誠の行方を教えてくれるんかなああ二言はないあんたのやり方に従うんは尺やな俺も手っ取り早いんは言葉より拳やええやろやったるわセラーマサル Pam, pam.
彼らの手に守られているうちは安全だ不動産屋ごときに誠が守れるわけないやろがその不動産屋の名前って行き先を教えてくれ教えてどうするカムロチは行くに決まっとるやろそれがますます彼女の命を危険にさらすことになるとしてもはどういうことカムロ町に向かうのはお前一人じゃ済まないだろうサノブヤツは必ず牧村誠を殺そうとするだろうお前がカムロ町に来るということは危険を持ち込むことになるんだ本当に彼女を思うならそうてんぼりにとどまりサガーを食い止めることが最良なんじゃないのか不動産屋が絶対に誠を守れる保証はあんのかもしも俺を信用できないんならその銃で俺を撃ち殺せ不動産屋の名刺は胸のポケットに入ってる死体から取って持ってけ俺はお前を信用して話したあとはお前が俺を信用するかどうかだ誠にかすり傷一つ負わせたら承知せえへんぞ命がけで守るお前は蒼天堀にとどまり佐川を。連携プレイだぜ真面目ちゃん俺に打たせるためにこいつを丸腰にしてくれたんだろう<笑>こいつか牧村誠を託された不動産屋ってほら喜べよ知りたかったんだろアチバナ不動産キリュウカズマこうなりゃ檻から出るっきゃねえなマジマちゃんあ？そうてんぼりの檻からお前を出してやるって言ってんだよ行きたいだろカムロ町ええんかだってよカムロ町行って牧村誠を探すしかねえじゃねえかこうなれよ地獄の果てまでもあの女を追いかけて殺すぞ俺とお前でな、はい、So um with that said we clear chapter 12 and Majima side of the story So let's take a look at what we're going to be dealing with next on Kiryu's side of the world. Dojima Gumi Kambu, Awano no Hoimo, a Sweeney, Kiryu, or Kamuro Chow, and Oi Tsumeruga, Tachibana no Keshi no Kakuga, Dojima Gumi no Ishun no Ski o Tsuita. やがて殻の一つをめぐる熾烈な争奪戦はついに東日本の裏社会を牛耳る登場会本家をも巻き込んでいく目まぐるしくかき換わる極道たちの勢力図が
新たな局面を迎える中キリュウは事件の鍵となる空の一坪の所有者の名を明かされたその人物の名は牧村誠蒼天堀にいるという彼女をカムロ町に無事連れ出すことがキリュウや立花にとって堂島組に対抗しうる唯一の手段だった。So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna stop right here, and in the next part, we deal with Kiryu's side of the story. So, stay tuned. More of You Got Gotoku Zero, the replay, right after this. Thanks so much for watching.